Edward Heath was the Conservative Prime Minister of the UK from 1970 to 1974. He was immersed in politics for 66 years, had great grasp of policy detail, but could be irascible. He was born in 1916, and his dad was a carpenter. He then went to grammar school and then Oxford in 1935, where he threw himself into student politics. In 1950, he successfully stood as MP for Bexley and held the post of Chief Whip from 1955 to 1959 through the Suez Crisis. In 1960, as Lord Privy Seal, he established his early reputation as a pro-European by negotiating British entry into the European Economic Community, although the French vetoed this attempt. In 1964, he helped abolish resale price maintenance, which had favoured small shops over supermarkets, and so reduced prices for ordinary Brits. In 1965, he became leader of the opposition, beating more upper-class candidates despite his humble origins. He immediately lost the 1966 election against Labour's Harold Wilson. However, this was likely inevitable. Wilson then lost the 1970 election amidst industrial turmoil. As Prime Minister, Heath managed to finally join the EEC, which would later become the EU. But his main problem was industrial unrest. Militant power staff went on strike as did coal miners, and in the midst of all this came a devastating oil embargo by OPEC, formed of Arab states angry about the West supporting Israel. This forced him to introduce a three-day week and other electricity restrictions after negotiations proved fruitless. He felt compelled to call an early election to gain a fresh mandate, but lost to Wilson again in 1974. Margaret Thatcher then became the new leader of the Conservatives, and with her neoliberalism, his more interventionist ideology fell out of fashion. He finally retired as an MP in 2001, and died at age 89 in 2005. Ted Heath's politics was forged in the period just before and during World War II, where the great unrest and misery convinced him the state should play a more interventionist role in the economy. Things couldn't be like they were before. He was capable of formulating detailed policies, but suffered from his slight lack of communication skills, which meant as PM those policies founded. In the face of militant unions, he did have a vivacious side to him, that included conducting concerts and sailing in races, but to the public he seemed quite grumpy, especially towards Thatcher, who was a strong communicator and won three general elections. Overall, Ted Heath was an accomplished pro-Europe statesman who rose to the top through sheer determination, but was not the political teacher that Thatcher would be and so struggled to implement his reasonable industrial reforms.